Every autumn Saturday, millions of Americans get a taste of Big Ten college football. Only a few are privileged to become a part of it. I'm Paul Geel, Athletic Director at the University of Minnesota. I'd like you to share the Big Ten experience to go for players like Ken Dallafor from Madison Heights, Michigan. Gary White from Rockdale, Texas. Kevin Kellen from Grand Rapids, Minnesota. And their coach, Smokey Joe Salem. Okay, let's go right. Go for right, throw back curl. changing the style of the Big Ten. We've come in with a uh, more wide open offense. Uh, our receivers are the, are the leading receivers in the Big Ten Conference. And uh, uh, this man in motion concept, uh, along with our eye formation, uh, gives us a very balanced attack and one that uh, uh, we think is really a, a wild style of play. Yeah. We're a young staff. Uh, we're very young, aggressive. I think the thing we probably do best as a staff is, is we're able to communicate with uh, players. Second down. We ran 30. Of course, you pinched inside. Did you get inside all right? Yeah. I really think the Big Ten, in a lot of ways, is the finest conference in the country. It used to be the only one team could go to the Rose Bowl, but now you can go to any team and go to any bowl if, if the bowl invites you. And, and last year we had uh, three teams in bowl games in our league. And we get pro scouts from, from every team in the National Football League. Some of them are here three, four, and five times during the season. And uh, uh, there's no possible way, if you got any potential, uh, that you're ever going to escape a, a pro scout in Minnesota. The other thing is we got to come with curl and split on early down. Curl, split. And we got to read the coverage and try to get it. And I was recruited by most Michigan schools, including Michigan and Michigan State. I picked Minnesota because I thought they were an up-and-coming team, and I think they're pretty open-minded about who gets a chance to play and everyone gets a fair shot. And as far as helping my skills, I've really improved tremendously. I think a lot of it's because of the new coach. Well, I, hey, this guy made the tackle. Hey, we had the block inside. He dipped outside. We had everything we wanted on No problem. I'm from Rockdale, Texas. It's about 60 miles north of Austin. It's a very small town. I was recruited by all the Southwest Conference schools in California, Tennessee, and Alabama. Then I had Michigan and Ohio, Ohio State. And I got recruited by Minnesota mainly because of their education, and, and plus they had a good football team. And I've got the opportunity to start, so I'm glad I came. Got a good coach. and. And he's very strict on you, but he's the type of coach that likes to gamble, which all the ball players like, you know. Well, I'm from Grand Rapids, up in northern Minnesota. I've decided that the biggest opportunity for me was uh, through football, and I was recruited by the University of Minnesota, which was my probably my first choice of where to go. There's no better football in the nation than Big Ten football. Overall, the, the competition among teams in the Big Ten is just excellent. We think you come here first to get a degree, and you, we think you come here second uh, to play football. Now, it doesn't mean we're not going to ask time. It doesn't mean that we're putting football in the background on anything, we're still going to demand that uh, you give us, uh, when you walk on the field, you're still giving us 100% there, too. But in the end, uh, the thing I have found, that somewhere down the line, you have to quit playing football. And with that, you better be ready to do something else that, that you're going to enjoy doing. I've been thinking of going to graduate school. I have about a 3.1 right now, and I'm going to have to keep it at least that high 
and uh, probably higher if I want to continue my education after I get my degree. Repairs to the house and furniture. She does all the housework unassisted and takes physical care of the children. Remember that he spent all... Um, I'm getting a four-year baccalaureate degree in marketing and salesmanship. I'm kind of interested in business and possibly getting into management. So we took all the F's by the X's, one at a time, multiplied them together. And I feel like if you get a good degree from here that it wouldn't be hard to get a job. And that's what I like to buy it. In the wintertime, I take heavy academic because I have more time to study and I can base my time on that, then I can get more work done. Unlike if you have trouble with your studies, they got athletic tutors over there to help you in the problem like math or economics or accounting. You know, if you don't really understand it, they make it more clear. They can put it in a better terminology where you can understand it. I think that the tutoring staff will help you. All right, I'll, you know, I'll keep in contact with you, you know, so I won't get lost. There's a style of living here, there's a, uh, a way of living that uh, is really second to none of most major uh, uh, cities that you're, metropolitan areas that you go to. And uh, it's a tremendous sports town. I think uh, we've got professional baseball, you have professional football, you got professional hockey, you got college basketball, college hockey, uh, college football. Uh, when you want to be active yourself, I'd say the one area that is going to really be a boom is the building of the Dome in downtown Minneapolis. The Gophers will play in it, and, uh, you know, we may even go to night football games. I think the Twin City offers a lot to a person who comes from out of state, because everything seems like it's so close. You got your theaters, and, and you got your good libraries, and you got nice parks and lakes. When the springtime comes up here, I look forward to it, because I can get out there and lay out on a lake or swim or something. It's, it's really nice. I really like the atmosphere and what I saw, the facilities, and the people were really friendly up here. Oh, that's good. Then you'll be all done. I have to start on Monday. Well, I think it opens up more opportunities for you when you graduate. I think you're more uh, exposed to the real world, you know, going to a university around a big town like Minneapolis. You know, there's a lot of big corporations. I'd certainly like to work for any of them. Like, uh, 3M or Honeywell or any. I love the winter here. I love the snow and I love the cold. I, I ski, I ice fish. I enjoy it. Everything is so calm and quiet. I really enjoy that about Minnesota. It's so beautiful with all the, the snow too, up in the woods. I found friends here through the f football team and, and through college life that are as close or closer to the friends I had at home and I can see that these friendships are going to last a long time. We care about each other and that's what I liked about Minnesota football, you know, we're always looking after each other, you know, if somebody needs something, we're always there trying to help each other and that's what I like about the team. I was amazed at uh a study they did on the people I played with 20 years ago. If you could see the positions that they hold today, it'd knock your eyeballs out because uh, we're talking about vice presidents, we're talking about sales managers, we're talking about lawyers, we're talking about doctors, we're talking about everyone. Uh, the, the success of that football team today has to rank second to none in the country with what these people are doing. To me, that's the biggest opportunity Minnesota offers to you. It'll give you a great education, but better than that, it's going to give you a great opportunity once you graduate. And, and of course, that's what we're all really going to school for. At 4 o'clock, man, hey, the season's over. Some of you guys are done playing. Some of you, of course, got a chance to go on. Those of you who are underclassmen, it's a step in the right direction for 1980. The only thing we ask of you as a coach and staff is that you go out and play with every dang bit of enthusiasm you got. Get out and hit, and let's take the fight to them and knock them all over the field. Now play hard, play it like it's the last play you're ever going to play. 
Because at 4 o'clock, we come off the field, let's come off with a win, all right? Let's win!